Hello guys, today I am going to talk about how to trace cryptocurrencies on blockchain. Before doing so, let me introduce myself. My name is Gaurav. I had growth at BitQuery. BitQuery is a blockchain data company. We provide blockchain data to many companies for various use cases, compliance, tax trading, etc. We also provide a lot of data to companies who build crypto investigation tools. So. A lot of time people come to us and they complain that they got scammed or somebody stole their cryptocurrencies and they look for help. Most probably they, we, we send them to some articles or something but I'm creating this video for those people who are scammed or they want to trace cryptocurrencies on blockchain. So before uh, tracing cryptocurrencies, let me cover some fundamentals. One, blockchains doesn't have names. Uh, they don't have KYCs, they are just hexadecimal strings, which is addresses basically, and people send money to addresses, these addresses. So, what happens when you um, send somebody money? So, when you send somebody money and you look for who is the owner of this wallet, it's not an easy question uh, because it's a, it's a bit, blockchain is not built to tell you who is like, it's not like bank, bank account transfer, right? So, the basic principle is that you want to know more about the person who received the money from you. You want to know where he sent the money, which services he used, and most of the time you want to know which services he used, where he sent money. Because if you know that, you can go and talk to those services that, okay, this person is a scammer, he scammed money from me, can you please check, sort of those things, and you have some proof, then you can also involve uh, legal authorities if you want basically so you basically want to find the destination of funds sometimes you also want to know that who is uh, received uh, from where the money is received but mostly in these cases you want to know where the money is went and if that money went to some centralized entity like an exchange payment service casino or anyone who is providing crypto services right and second, on one more important thing that as soon as you get hacked, please take all the screenshot, chats, emails, everything you can basically. Take all the records you have, all the receipts and report it. And now question is where to report it. Now this is a website, for example, chainabuse.com. There are a lot of websites like this. You can use any of them, but I use chainabuse or I direct people to chainabuse. So you come here, you file a report, in that report, please attach all the details. For example, um, for example, this is, uh, let me show you. For example, these are Bitcoin scams. You can see there are a lot of people complaining about different things. For example, let's see this. So this is like fake crypto giveaway, giveaway. And you can see that some money is stolen. He's adding a screenshot adding everything so this is very helpful and why you want to do this right why you want to tell this right so there is a very important reason that once you report address here because this uh, uh, service are tracked by many compliance and investigation companies there are a lot of investigation companies in crypto space I mean like which provide you investigation and compliance solutions which exchange use payment gateways casinos everybody use them because of they have to, uh, this is uh, government compliance, right? So they continuously track these websites and whenever new address is reported, they flag them. So once they flag them and some exchange or any uh, one or any of their customer use uh, or get, uh, get a transaction from these addresses, uh, they get flagged and they get uh, marked as a riskier transactions. And then somebody can look into those transactions, right? So you, sh you need to report it. So uh, any cust any most of the payment uh, service or most of the crypto services in the space will get to know that this address is flagged basically right so this is uh, uh, you should do first then second part for example let's say this is some fake giveaway let's say for example let's take this address this is a bitcoin address for example let's say trace this one right let's come to come to our explorer you see this explorer is free you can use it it's explorer 
dot bitquery dot io you can see this right so you come here you go on bitcoin mainnet because it's bitcoin then you search the address you go into money flow tab you don't see any transactions because there is a filter of 7 days let's increase it as per it 2017 September, August, right? Like this. Now you see, right? This is a graph. There are a lot of transaction doesn't make sense. So put on sank. It's much more sensible, right? Now you see this is our uh, uh, wallet address who received the money. This is the address which was reported, right? Now you see where he sent the money, and he sent the money to these addresses. Now. bitquery doesn't deploy any dn migration technologies meaning we don't actively figure out who what is the identity of this address but in some cases we know the identity because we scrape other explorer and uh, forums for identity data but the more sophisticated companies there are many companies uh, in this space who actually continuously deploy technologies various methods to actually uh, try to get to know where this uh, address belong either what part of the region of the world they belong and any and any information they can uh, get from any address so in, if you are if you are if you have access to those tools those companies mostly they are not built for retail they are built for businesses very costly so- softwares in those cases you um, you can use uh, one of them and to tra- uh, if you have access to them you can trace them but they also looks similar to this right now go next we try to trace them for example let me explain what you are showing on the, what you are seeing in the screen so this is money flow tab you see this depth level this you see two, two types of graph so we build it uh, there you can build any sort of graph i'll show you how to get the data but this is you see inbound and outbound depth level so this is one hop this is one hop on out, outbound where the outbound is money is going outside inbound is money is coming in uh, money coming to the address So you see, this is depth two. So this is first depth. This is second depth, and we are tracing who's where the money is going basically. Right? You see this, this. We continuously try to trace. Their money went to so many addresses, and there might be cases. Some of them is exchange or payment service or something, but we don't know a wallet. because we don't deploy in technology which dnmise them but in some cases you can, you can find uh, we have there are some very famous addresses and people use those addresses cool you see that there is a lot of uh, we used at least eight depth and we didn't find at least we know that what was the addresses where money went but we don't find any recognizable address here let's try to do one more thing let's go back more right and this can take time to load because there might be a lot of addresses okay you can increase the depth level basically trace more addresses for example when we trace more addresses we see coinbase this is not coinbase exchange remember coinbase is type of transaction on bitcoin where whenever a new blocks created miners get rewarded by bitcoin protocol and this is called coinbase transaction we mark those transaction as coinbase transaction as well as many other ways many other places where we don't know where the money coming from or it is getting minted or something like that so there so this is not coinbase exchange usually you see coinbase exchange is name as coinbase exchange It's written as Coinbase Exchange. Cool. We didn't find it. Let's try other, other expo, other one. This is Ethereum, right? Let me try Ethereum. Money mm-hmm. flow. same you need to change let's change it 2019 right 
now he he received the money from many exchanges and when we say that uh, these are exchanges i'll show how to get to know but these might be victims might not be belongs to hacker but might be victim right see now we didn't find bitcoin but when we tracked ethereum we found it so there is some the lot of money at least 5 eth went to this address then to this address almost all of them and then to 5.0 on binance now when we say binance it doesn't mean it's a uh, i mean like you cannot rely on identity data on us like because we scrape it from different exchanges and sort of those but there is a way to actually to know if it is correct or not so if you right click on it it will open it on a new new tab and now you can see that if if it is exchange you know that it must be doing a lot of volume in terms of transaction so you see it's actually sending and receiving thousands and thousands of ethereum like billions of usdc g is billion so it's receiving billions of usdt usdt is like it's a lot of money and looks like exchange because even though you see this balance it has everything like a lot of balance right a lot of different currencies so it looks like exchange so it most probably it's exchange right so this is how you can double sure it okay this is actually exchange now if you know this then you can go to binance and actually tell them that uh, you can actually track this through api for example i'll show you how to do that so now you know this address by right clicking it this one right this is address now this is a path actually where the from where the money went right and he actually also sent some money to uh, back to uh, binance through his binance wallet he actually sent money to back to its own wallet again so what what you can do is like uh, you open this one open graphql id this will open the api which is getting this data and from this data we are building this so let me show you open it this will open our id it's more technical thing so i'll keep it simple as much as it can be so this is the data which was building that map let me show you how right you see this right this is just data right okay go cool. so now you see this this was a binance address copy it um one second now you see this right receiver this sender this right one more thing because there is inbound and outbound both and this is about outbound so you go and add transaction detail also you can add anywhere like up like this transaction hash it run it again reduce inbound and if you don't see data please check here that let's say just just want to see outbound right you can now you see this this was address receiver like this now you go get back and check this uh you can actually do a proper tracing here how you do that uh you can actually change you can you have you ch- have initial address you can add a destination receiver and this way you can actually trace uh, the exact path but let me do that try that it's not that easy that directly let me try in let's say we do this outbound right you see this you just add receiver here receiver is this and this is the path how this money is went right so this way you get the receipts now this send money to this to this to this now you take this screenshot links these records of transactions and go to the finance and tell them that this happened 
uh, all the screenshot like basically you report everything here if you even do investigate it so you can just give them this report it's much more easier to access to sort of those things and this way you can actually trace the funds so this is how you actually know um how, how the money get traced on blockchain we know this because binance is because sometimes people tag it on different uh, forums or somewhere but there are companies who actually continuously deploy technology and these uh, exchange addresses or services like casinos addresses or any addresses can be actually traced by these services so that's how people or anybody actually trace cryptocurrency if you have any questions uh, so now before uh, closing this um, so what we first if you get a toll first report it add all the information and then use our explorer to actually um, trace these uh, currencies now if you have any questions and if you want to if you want me to create something uh, some other video related to this please put uh, add your comments below if you like this video it it helped you please like share subscribe the channel i'll creating more videos on how to create blockchain data for various use cases mostly how to use our apis but sometimes i also create to show to use blockchain data is more more uh, not for normal people um thanks